For the first time since the armed teacher bill passed the state house, we're hearing from Knox County Schools on what this could mean for the future of KCS. Yeah, Superintendent Ricewick spoke after last night's budget meeting on the matter, telling us the county did not need legislation to focus on safety. Part of the board's approved budget for the year is going toward more safety protocols, equipment, and SROs in schools, over $2 million worth. As we have reported, in order for a school to consider guns in the school, a principal school district and law enforcement agency would have to agree to let staff carry. While the bill awaits Governor Lee's signature, Superintendent Reiswick says he's confident with where the county is at keeping students and teachers safe. We'll run it through a law department and look at that. but. Uh, but I do want to be clear and, 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 and say where we are at Knox County Schools with that. Um, talking about security and school safety is not new to us. Uh, we've been doing safe uh, school safe student press conferences for the last couple years. Safety's been a priority of ours. We're always evaluating, assessing what our priorities are, safety obviously being one of those. Um, so I, like, we didn't need acts from the legislators to, for us to make that a priority and to look at that. Uh, it is something we do, we do constantly. Superintendent says every spring there's a list of new laws that come in and a law department always goes over before they decide to implement things for the county. But as of now, Ricewick says, with highly trained officers at every school and the partnership with Knox County Sheriff's Office and Knoxville Police, he doesn't see a need for this bill here.